Hey everyone, this is HPT with High Probability Trade. Today I'm going to be going over IV Android TWS. It's finally come out after two years. Thank you. Okay. So, you download the application. You're going to get... Let's see if I can zoom in to where you can see it. This page, customer logon, put in your username, password. You also have a demo system. So let me just do that so you don't see my password and all that crap. I'm just going to log into the uh, demo account. If you have a uh, if you're already logged on your computer, then it's going to ask if it can log you out or disconnect you. It's going to ask you this. Another session is already in use. Would you like to disconnect the other person? So you say yeah. Okay. Okay, so the basic uh, setup, we got quotes and charts, order ticket, live orders, trades, portfolio, account, and configuration. So here's the, uh, the demo account up here. Just got uh, kicked out because I just logged on to uh, IB via the phone. So just got knocked off. I'll go ahead and close that out. Okay, so now let's check out. Let's start start off with the uh, the bottom one here. See what we got. Go to configuration. You can save the username. You got the fit beep and vibrate. It'll it'll vibrate or beep when you uh, place a trade. You can have an auto log out. And then they've got debug modes. Okay, so I'm going to use the back button. I'm using actually a uh, Android G1 uh, through T-Mobile. It's going to look at the portfolio here. This is just the demo account. So um, there's that. Let's go back. Let's check out the portfolio. Currently holding uh, one long on ES and a forex portfolio. We're long thirty thousand on the Aussie. Okay, let's check out the trades. Uh, these are the trades for today. We did a scalp trade on crude, um, and then we're long Aussie and ES. You can sort it by the action or the symbol. Alright, let's check out uh, live orders. We don't have any live orders currently. Let's check out the order ticket. You can enter in a symbol. Let's just go ahead and put in um, TF. Try to look that up. Futures. Russell, December contract. Go ahead and select that. It's creating a chart. It's loading a one-day chart. Currently, the uh, the bid and ask are uh, 751.7, 751.8. It's a nice little one-day chart. Pretty much just rallied straight up all day. If you uh, Touch the chart, it'll zoom in, it'll go full screen. Let's see if it'll go sideways. There's a sideways view if you uh, click open the chart. And let's go to a uh, one month here. I don't think anyone trading from their phone is going to even want to look at one month or one year. So I, I don't know why IB even went that far. They should be doing five minute or 15 minute charts here. Just don't, one year charts pretty lame um, but 
nevertheless, at least they have it. Um, so you can let's say we want to buy here. So go ahead and click on buy, and you have a uh, order ticket come up. Quantity, time and force, order type, limit price. Can't see that. Need to zoom in here. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. Let's just go ahead and put in a uh, limit price of. Let's just go. Scroll down. Let's say we want 74. 8.8. Want to do a limit price of buy. 748.8. Okay. Go ahead and hit OK, transmit. Okay. So we have one order in. Let's go go back out. Back out. Let's go live orders. Loading. So we have one buy limit, 748.8. So that order did work. Okay. Now let's go to uh, quotes and charts. All right. This is the uh, the fun part where you can place all your own quotes on here. Let's go ahead and click to add one here. Let's go ahead and add um, spy. Stock. Okay, so now we have spy on there. Let's go ahead and click on spy. It's going to bring up all the info, bid ask, days high and low, the volume, any current positions. I'll show you the chart. Chart, chart periods. You can select one day, one month, all the way to, let's go ahead and look at the five year on spy. That. It's going to show all the uh, dividends on there, it looks like. If you uh, flip it sideways, it goes horizontal, which is nice. I just have to hold the uh, camera steady here so you can see better quality. Well, it's better than this. There you go. It looks a little bit better. Okay. And if you wanted to get rid of one of these, let's say we want to get rid of Z. So we'll just um scroll down and I'll long press that. Sorry, I screwed up. Okay, maybe you don't long press it. You um, scroll onto it, you hit your menu options, you hit edit, and let's just say I want to trash can that one. I don't want Z. So I'm going to delete it. I can move spy up, I can just drag it. So hold it and move it to the top like that. Now the spy is at the top. Click back. Save changes. OK. So it's saved. You got rid of that one quote. So that one's gone. And we have spy at the top. You hit your menu options. You can um, create different pages. One for stocks. One for futures. Let's uh, go to the next page over. There's more stocks over there. Another page over. You can add more. Um, things here we got 4x for this page next page over this one is uh, this one's blank this one you can add your own but it comes with a couple uh, pages already set up and then you can rename this page to whatever you want okay so there done alright so trades go back to trades action Let's go to the account. Say you want to get out of a position really quick. Um, let's go to the portfolio. Click on that. You can close it. Actually, you can't close it because uh, ES isn't open right now. 
but if it was, I'd be able to close it. Show unrealized PL. That's one of the options. Uh, let's go to the Forex portfolio. Unrealized PL is $3. Shows your position. All right, that's about it for uh, mobile TB TWS for Android. You click back, and it'll ask if you want to log out. Click OK. It takes you back to the main screen. And that is it.